Hello and welcome to this week's RuneScape news, including a nerf to low and rich Zamrak farming and a major change to the Iron Man game mode. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy RuneScape content and would like to stay updated with the recent news and events, be sure to subscribe. The Fresh Start Worlds game mode will be officially launching at 11 hours game time next Monday, and you're able to make your account in advance. Though they do want to warn you that if you do log into that account before the release date, you won't be able to use that account for Fresh Start Worlds. So basically, just don't make your account in advance because there's a chance you'll mess something up by logging in too early, and then you'll need another email. Unless you don't care about that, of course. In the post, they also share two ways of activating membership through bonds, which basically give you a special code if selected, and that code can be used either in-game when logging into Fresh Start Worlds or through the RuneScape homepage. Again, they warn you that you should not activate the code early because you'll just be wasting your precious membership days. For those wondering about bonds and how they work, you will only be able to buy and sell one bond per weekly reset in the competitive period of Fresh Start Worlds, being weeks one to eight. Some other news you might have missed in an older news post is that they removed a couple of the boons and are reducing the peak experience multiplier which was three times experience or four times experience for skills below level 70. For those looking to get a general idea of how the flipped 120 and 99 capes will look, thanks to a player named I'm Rubik, I'm able to show you what the flipped or inverted 120 and 99 capes look like. My personal favorites are Divination, Fletching, and of course, Slayer. This week sees one of the biggest changes to the Iron Man game mode in a very long time, as combat restrictions have been removed for Iron Man accounts interacting with normal accounts. This means that Iron Man accounts are able to enter boss instances alongside regular accounts and are able to benefit and get split drops through Lootster just like any other account would. Iron Man accounts are able to join regular accounts in the matchmaking system and are no longer required to use boss instances for bosses when an instance version is available. This does, however, mean that Iron Man accounts need to pay for instances. So why are these changes so significant? Well, Iron Man mode is more inclusive now as players can play with their friends despite them not being an Iron Man. Except for Dungeoneering, of course, but I wouldn't be surprised if that follows sometime in the near future. Now, while I might think this is a fantastic change as I can play with my Iron friends, I can also see players, existing Iron Man players that is, being disappointed to this game mode now being more prone to leeching, because with the loot share, you're able to leech from your main account or a friend, and I can even see people selling items to Iron Man players. At this point, Iron Man mode isn't really the single player mode it used to be, but instead it's more of a no MTX, no trading game mode. I think that's fine, but then again, I don't play Iron Man mode personally. This week sees Solak becoming a soloable boss as it now skills to solo, which is something we knew was coming, but we didn't really know when exactly it would release. It also seems like they consulted a bunch of Solak discords and players that have experience with the boss, so I'm sure that went down well. I'll be sure to try solo Solak at some point in the near future. As for Zamrak, low and rage farming has been nerfed at least to the point of bad luck mitigation as it can now only be accumulated if you're doing kills over 100% in rage. The bad luck mitigation modifier seems to increase at faster speeds depending on your rage, which is completely fair as high in rage kills do take longer. The drop chance of rare items used to be capped at 1 in 20 with bad luck mitigation, but at high in rages it can go as low as 1 in 5 if you're really dry at 2000% in rage. Now while I'm all for them improving the drop rate, by increasing the odds of you obtaining rare drops at higher rages thanks to a higher bad luck mitigation modifier, then removing bad luck mitigation from low in rages entirely seems a bit much. Especially when phase 7 solo skills dreadfully. Could it not just have been 0.5 times bad luck mitigation? Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below, by the way. All enraged bosses now have bronze titles achieved at 1000% in rage, closing the gap between the regular 500% and 2000% silver titles. They also seem to have finally reworked the Dagonoff King pets to visually match the graphically reworked versions of the bosses they came from. And now, they actually look pretty decent. With that being said, we've covered this week's news, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.